What we're seeing in the Middle East right now is a crisis that is not going to end anytime soon. And yet, a lot of our assistance programs uh, continues to be focused on short-term approaches, short-term solutions, as if people will go home. Um, and we know globally the average for displacement is now about 17 years. So we need to be thinking of how do we help people now, where they are, whether they go home or not, so that they have the kind of education, the kind of job opportunities uh, that can help them not just survive today, but prepare for a viable future. And we also know that as you look at e enormous numbers of, of refugees ho and displaced people hosted by other communities, there's a, an enormous burden on those communities and also the potential for tension because you've got competition for scarce resources, infrastructure is stressed. So one of the things that U.S. Institute of Peace is very focused on doing is working with people who are displaced and the host communities to have the kind of dialogue and mediation skills that enable them to problem solve before a conflict becomes violent. I was in Iraq last week and met with some of the Iraqi facilitators with whom USIP has worked and trained and supported for a number of years. They have been able to work very closely with tribal sheiks on uh, both uh, Shia and Sunni so that as Daesh is cleared, there can be a better sharing of information about what really happened. And instead of implicating an entire tribe for real or perceived acts of injustice, that they come to agreements that only hold individuals accountable. And you create a platform for ongoing peace instead of rolling cycles of retributive violence. And at the same time, you enable people to come home. So whether people go home or whether they stay displaced, we have to do much more than just focus on food and shelter and water. That's important. But we also need to be think of how to help them prepare for a viable future.